In this video, we are dealing with maintenance management module in Odoo 30. While manufacturing a product, it is the prime responsibility of the manufacturing department to assure the product performance. Product quality should be assured in each stage of its production so as to bring in quantitative and high-end performing products. Utilizing Odoo, product maintenance can be carried in two ways, preventive and corrective. Preventive maintenance is a support that is routinely performed on an equipment so as to decrease its probability of coming short. It is performed while the equipment is still working. It is carried prior to equipment notifying any fault or failure. Preventive maintenance, in other words, can be called as servicing of equipment carried in regular intervals. On the other hand, corrective maintenance is a support task performed to distinguish, segregate and redress an issue so that the faulty equipment can be re-established to an operational condition. The prime motto of conducting equipment maintenance is that it reduces the downtime as well make the manufacturing process more proficient. Through servicing the equipment over regular periods, the risk of equipment failure can be brought down to a great extent. Let us go to the maintenance module. This is the dashboard or the overview of the maintenance module. Here we can see the Kanban view of the maintenance team. First of all, let us create a maintenance team. Under configuration, take the option maintenance team. These are the already existing maintenance team here. Let us create a new one. So here we can give a name for the maintenance team. Now let's click on the save button. So we have created the team and let's go to the dashboard and we can see the new team we have created now under the maintenance tab we can see two options maintenance request and maintenance calendar under maintenance calendar we can click on any date and we can keep the maintenance on that date just click on any date and a small pop-up form of maintenance request will come there we can create maintenance request or else under maintenance we have maintenance request click on it and this is the maintenance request page here we can see all the maintenance requests that we have made click on the create button to create a new maintenance request this is the form to create a maintenance request let's give a title service the tool and we can mention the one who created this request now we have the option to mention the equipment or the tool of which we are doing this maintenance request for. Here we can mention any tool and we have the request date automatically ablated here. Also we can schedule the date of the maintenance activity then maintenance type can be corrective or preventive corrective means 
if any failure happened we have to correct it the main is for that and preventive is to block the failures that it to happen then the duration of the maintenance can be mentioned here schedule date can be mentioned here and importantly we can mention the team we can assign a maintenance team to do this maintenance activity we can assign the new team we have created So after filling all these fields, let's click on the save button. Now when we go back, we can see the request we have created. It is in the first stage. Here we can see automatically created two three stages are here in progress, repair and scrap. we can drag and drop the request into any of these stages now we shall move on to the equipment tab there we can see machine and tools so these all are the equipments that we have created for using here we can click on the create button and create a new equipment here we shall mention the equipment name cutting blade we can mention the equipment category under which category this equipment comes then we shall mention the company also we can mention who is using this equipment either can mention an employee or any department or other if you are mentioning it as employee we have to mention the employee here or if we click on department we have to mention the department here or if we click on other we have to mention the employee and the department let's keep it on employee and mention one employee here now maintenance team which maintenance team is assigned to maintain this equipment called cutting blade we shall keep it as main team of maintenance which we have just created and the technician who is using this equipment and used the location and the work center under which this equipment is used can be mentioned now we shall also give a description about this equipment here about the product information from whom this equipment is bought and so on and now the maintenance tab of this equipment here we have preventive maintenance frequency it means one can set the frequency of preventive maintenance in number of days here we can set it as 5 means after each 5 days this equipment is serviced next preventive maintenance is given here it means once preventive maintenance is set following preventive maintenance will get automatically set based on that in the initial case it will be calculated based on the effective date then we have maintenance duration duration of the maintenance in hours here we shall mention 1 hour then expected mean time between failure one can set the expected mean time between failures in days here Now we have mean time between failures. It is computed based on the done corrective maintenances. Then we have estimated next failure. 
it is computed as latest failure date plus mean time between failures then we have the option of latest failure this is the last failure date will be updated automatically then mean time to repair it is the mean time between maintenance and repair in days now click on the save button so we have configured an equipment called cutting blade let's go back and we can see in the kanban view the new equipment cutting blade that we have just created now again under equipment tab we have work centers this is the work center we can see in the manufacturing module too so here we are able to create work center from maintenance module click on the create button and we can see the form to create work centers here we can add the name for the work center let's go back and see the already created work centers click on edit so this is the assembly line 1 work center we can mention all an alternative work centers the working hours of this work center and so on these are the general informers regarding the time efficiency capacity and so on of this work center and there is a tab called equipment here and this is a tab where we add the equipments that are used under this work center clicking on the add a line we can also add the new equipment we have just created select so the cutting blade is added here so, th so this is how we add equipment to each work centers and just click on the save button so we have configured the work center here now we have the reporting menu here we can see the report analysis of the maintenance requests these all are the maintenance requests and its analysis under configuration we have another option to to create equipment categories so these are the categories of equipments under which each equipment comes this is one category furniture tools so under this furniture tool category we have five equipments so these all are the equipments this is the cutting blade we have created a new and we have given the category furniture tool so this is the category furniture tool and its equipments so this is all about maintenance management module in Odoo 13 thank you for watching if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info at cybrosis.com